Good day. I just want to share an encouragement with you today. And I want to talk about disappointment. All of us have faced disappointment in our lives. And disappointment is normally the gap between what we expect for our future and what we see as our reality. That gap is called disappointment. And it can leave you uh, feeling just like you have stagnated in your life, like you are not moving forward, like you are disappointed with the way things are turning out in your life. And in Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7, in the Passion Translation, it reads as follows. It says, Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day, offering your faith-filled requests before God with overflowing gratitude. Tell Him every detail of your life. And then God's incredible peace that transcends human understanding will make the answers known to you uh, through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7. So I want to encourage you today. When you feel disappointed, you wanted to be father in life, or you thought that your children would behave differently, or you had another outcome for your marriage, and now you feel like all is lost. Nothing is looking the way that you have been planning. I want to encourage you to give that disappointment to God. You know what? Renew your strength in prayer. Take stock of your circumstances. And many times, once we realize that we do not have to keep up with the Joneses, your life does not have to look like your neighbors or your best friends, then you can understand that God has you on a unique journey. And many times you are right now at the exact place where he wants you to be. He is refining us like pure gold so that we can stand in front of him one day and present what he has placed in our hands, the talents, the children, the marriage, the work, whatever it is, that he has placed that in your hands because he knew that you have the ability through his spirit inside of you to make the best out of those circumstances. So I want to encourage you, take a new grip with your tired hands and believe God as you give him every detail of your life, as you tell him everything that is burdensome and a disappointment at this stage. And you know what? When you follow after him with a fresh pair of eyes, looking at your circumstances from his point of view, things normally start changing. Be thankful for the challenges because you know that he has already overcome it and he has put the overcoming power inside of you. So I just want to encourage you, woman of God, that you will overcome. You will have the victory in Jesus' name. Amen.